I think we can beat this one. Hell yeah, we can beat this one. <laughs> of course. Let's do it. Yes. 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 Let's go. Hey, hey, welcome to Smart AF. I'm your host, Tori Mathis. We have got a great show for you today, so let's get started. So we've talked quite a bit in the past about like these bucket list things that we always wanted to do. And I think that's cool. Um, like that, remember, what was that movie that came out? Um, it was some bucket list movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Bucket List. Was it called The Bucket List? Okay, I can remember like my dad <laughs> thought it was like the greatest thing. We started and we're like, what the hell is this? Like, We weren't at the right age for it. However, we're still pretty young and we have quite the list of things that we want to do. And I think that's awesome because we've gotten those things on our list now so that we can kind of, we've got a a direction that we're going. And so one thing that both of us have talked about is that we want a world record. And about a month ago, Sean decided to look into it more. What made you look into it like at that time? You just... Uh, I, I think, I was trying to think, um, I think I was in bed so, <laughs> the night before going, a, a world record would be awesome. Um, and I was actually, I was looking at, uh, other world records and I, I saw that there was a lot of records for the youngest, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and so I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm the youngest founder of an automotive museum. Um, and so I was like, that's gotta be something I can, I can get. So I went on there and, and was going for that. And, uh, I wound up coming across this other record that involved Tesla's. And I saw that the current Guinness world record for the longest Tesla parade is held in China with 145 Tesla. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Only 145? That's a low, low number. For sure. And I was like, I, I, I think you were across the table from me. I'm like, I think we can beat this one. Hell yeah, <laughs> we can beat this one. No, of course. Let's yeah. do it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. And so I filled out the application. I mean, it was an existing <laughs> record. So you literally just fill out the application. Mind you, we are new Tesla owners less than two months less than two months um, but i found this this tesla at record. the time it might have been less than a month like <laughs> it was pretty yeah, fresh it, as a tesla it owner. might have been it might have been right around a month if not less so big stuff started happening like okay so you filled out the application cool wow like things I started don't have moving 146 teslas but things started moving incredibly fast. I, I belong to, um, well, at the time, I belonged to two Tesla groups on Facebook. And so I just made a quick post and I was like, hey, is this something you would all want to be a part of? And I immediately got a response back that was like, hell yeah, let's let's do this. Um, and so I, I talked to Tori. I'm like, well, if we're going to do this, let's do it for something that, can help make a difference in the world and um i think it was only a couple days before all this that 35 kids were rescued in the atlanta area or in atlanta i should say uh from human trafficking and um tori actually told me about this this nonprofit organization called operation underground railroad or so our first thing that came to mind i had never heard of them before but like Tori was super quick to say that was, that's the organization. Somebody mentioned him on Facebook, and I had been following him on Instagram for maybe a month or so, and it was just like one thing after another. And then listening to Tim Ballard talk about his origin and like what they've been doing, like I was just I was pretty amazed by it, and it just kind of really started to open my eyes to some crazy stuff. That like, why aren't we doing more about this? Like. We can do stuff. We, everybody like needs to know more about this. So my mind definitely went there first. Absolutely. Yeah. And we didn't want to do anything that could have an opposition to whatever it is. You know, There's a lot of opposition right now. So saying that you're going to put your money and your time behind anything, I thought it was important that it was something that, I mean, every everybody wants to help kids. Like our, our kids are that age. Our daughter's nine. Like everybody has that that place for children. 
So the the timing of all this, of of even learning about this current world record, and then uh, learning about OUR, and then the the kids just getting rescued, um, it all kind of just came together. And uh, I utilized Tori's. Actually, the, 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 <laughs> well, the, he didn't utilize Tori the, at first for her design skills. Yeah, but Sean the, threw something up uh, and yeah, started getting right. registrations. And this isn't like getting one or two registrations within a week, Sean Mathis. Within a week, we we uh, with pre registrations, we theoretically beat the beat record. The record. Um, and as of right now, I think we're just we're just shy of three hundred Teslas, uh, which was my initial goal was to to hopefully get three hundred Teslas there. Um, now these are all pre registered cars, so it's still yet to be determined how many of them will actually show up. I think that we had these people registered before we even had a route. Like, there's a lot. No, there was, there was, there was there's no a route. lot of details that actually go about to to put on a parade of cars, especially when it's as big as 300 or more cars. So you you. Well, I had an initial like I, I thought where a cool short route would be, just thinking something simple and. Uh, well, first you have to have where can we have that many cars park. So your first thing was I, I was thinking the uh, the Mall of Georgia, a big um, parking lot, which is a huge parking lot. Nobody there early in the morning. Yeah, they're they're not even open in the morning. And then there's uh, there's superchargers across the street. Not that anybody really needs them for that given time, but it's nice to have that kind of thing around when you're talking a bunch of electric cars. Um, but I was very quickly turned down on that route. <laughs> Um, and then the, the destination of it, that I got no response back from anybody that I tried to to get to figure out where we could end this thing. Um, and so I actually um, found out about the park and rides that Georgia has. And they're just a place that you, you can park. Like there's nobody to tell you no in that case. Um, and so there's one off of Highway 400, which is... Um, it's the Windward Parkway Park and Ride, which is in Alpharetta. Just um, north of Atlanta. Just north of Atlanta, and it's right next to Highway 400. Um, and so I went from that starting point to try to find where the next potential park and ride was, just to eliminate anybody telling me no. Um, but I found, I actually, what I did was I looked up Tesla chargers and EV chargers and all that kind of stuff around the area as well. And I wound up finding the Westin. Uh, the Western Atlanta Perimeter North location, specifically in Sandy Springs, which is a 20-minute drive south from the starting point. And I wound up getting a hold of the director of the Western there, who then was very quick to jump on board with the whole concept of the parade. And I wound up going down there and, and meeting him. And long story short, the Western is now our final destination place. Um, we are also given access to the Bernstein room after the parade, uh, which is at the front of the hotel and has doors open to the front that faces the entire uh, parking lot that we are going to take over with all the Teslas. So it allows us to have kind of a indoor-outdoor atmosphere after the parade. Um, and we'll have a raffle that we can raise more funds uh, for OUR. A few items have already been donated. Um, and we'll have some speakers. We'll have somebody that actually was human trafficked and has now become an advocate for human trafficking. Uh, we'll have somebody from OUR being able to speak with us and uh, kind of explain a little bit more about the organization because I can only do so much, especially since I'm a, a, a new follower of OUR and we're doing all this for them. But um, it should be pretty neat to be able to pull this record off. I'm pretty confident that the uh, the record is well beyond beaten. Um, so it just comes down to seeing how much money we can raise to hopefully save as many kids as possible from human trafficking. So the parade is going to take place on December 12th, which is a Saturday, correct? Yes. Yeah, 12, 12, 20. Um, parade should start hopefully at about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the plan is to uh, start having the cars get there probably about 8 o'clock, we'll have some volunteers that'll check everybody in. Um, so you don't even have to get out of the car. You're just going to get checked in based off of your pre-registration information. That way we know who's in the car and what model Tesla you have. And that's just for 
record keeping for the actual record itself. Uh, and then after the parade, once we know who's actually participated in the parade, uh, we we will be able to send a certificate of completion uh, just as a, a thank you for being a part of all of that. And registration is free. You don't have to pay anything to be involved. Though there is opportunities for support and for sponsorships and donors. Um, and we have made some special rates at the West End. If people do, our, there are a lot of people coming in from out of town already for this. So we did arrange for some special rates at the West End so people can stay there if they want. Again, it's just north of Atlanta. Yeah, I know of at least six different states people are traveling from. And, and the Westin is the, the not only the final destination, but we have uh, special rates for this event that you get to, you can stay at the Westin at a, $89 a night or something. It's and beautiful. It's, it's really it's nice. It's fantastic there. So it's, it's, it's worth a trip no matter how far you have, you come from. And, and they have Tesla chargers installed there. Plus they're all around the area. So when you're coming with, with the car, you, there's, there's no concern there whatsoever. But even if you don't have a Tesla, you can still go to teslarecord.com and, and either become a sponsor or just help donate to the cause. And so this is being brought on by Miles Through Time, which is Sean's museum, and also the Tesla Atlanta Group. Tesla Owners Club of Atlanta. Tesla uh, Owners Club of Atlanta. Tennessee and Alabama. Um, and then there's a few other locations that are probably coming on. But yeah, it's... Uh, uh, a whole lot of people have been real quick to jump on board and, and just be a part of this because you know, I can come up with the concept. You can help me you know, push it all out there, but ultimately we, we can't do it alone. So it, it really takes a whole lot of people coming on board to, to help make all this possible. And it seems like it's going to be a, a really big event, much larger than I, I originally anticipated. anticipated. Um, and it's all for a great cause. It's a really great opportunity to make a big change and some difference in the world as a whole. Yeah. It's amazing. I encourage you go to teslarecord.com. You can learn more about what we're doing, what the current record is. Um, and there's a lot more information about OUR just so you can be comfortable with that. And we hope to see you there. Thanks. If you want to get smart tools to build your business, go to be smart.com.